What's up guys? I am doing my soapbox. I can't even call it a soapbox really. I mean, I only have one thing to complain about, but it's not really that much to complain about. But I'm doing my live today from a island. I won't tell you which one. Um, actually, well, it is from St. Martin. We just got here today. Okay, I came here for my birthday. This weekend I'm gonna be 33. I'm getting old, I know. Um, don't mind my makeup. It's been a very long couple hours of a trip here, but we made it. Thank goodness, guys, look at this. This is crazy. You have to see this. It's like absolutely, this is like some postcard stuff. Look, see? Oh! Birthday to me, everybody leave me the hell alone. Say hi, John. Hi. <laughs> I hear doing it up. So anyways, Sunset. my girls had, held it down at the office today. Tina. Michelle, Megita, Nicole, Emily, Ashley, our new girl, Erica, um, Nene, and Dr. Perez. Everybody held it down today. I'm so proud of everybody. So anyways, and Chrissy. How can I forget? Um, so anyways, I'm here having a good time. I've only been here for like two hours, but I have to tell you this story, okay? So this is funny. First of all, I gotta let you guys see this shit again because it's like ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. Okay. I don't normally tell people when I go somewhere because then everybody wants to mess with me. But I really want to share my experience out here. Okay. I work my ass off. Okay. I work like 20 hours a day. So I decided to take a trip. I think I deserve three days. I told my girls too. I'm like, listen, I'm not going to Greece for two weeks. I'm going somewhere for three days. Cool place about St. Martin, just to tell you guys is this is where John proposed to me. So he proposed to me almost 11 years ago here on this island, which is pretty cool. So to revisit it is uh, like a down memory lane for us kinda, you know? It's really cool. What's up, Matt? Hi, what's up? Look at my mans, Tunisia. Tina, I love you, good job today. So anyways, listen to this, okay? This is funny. So we have an American Express card, right? And whenever you book with American Express, if you like, if they have any perks, whether it's like late checkout or, you know, a room upgrade when you get there or whatever, you know, then, you know, they give you the perks and you, you get the perks, whatever. So long story short, we get here. Now the place is absolutely gorgeous. Not, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Okay. And sorry, my, my, I really suck at this like selfie shit. So in case you're getting like sick watching my video, that's why. Um, so anyways. Uh, basically what took place here today is we were booked for like a two bedroom suite. And the reason why we did a two bedroom suite is because, oh, John's gonna hold it for me. Hi guys, <laughs> just trying to make this a little easy for her. Oh, thanks. Good. Oh, I can talk now? Okay. Yeah. So anyways, this is weird. Can you do it this way and turn it around? Oh yeah, do it that way. That's perfect. Yeah, hold it this way. Come back, come, come, come in my video with me. Oh, look, John's in my video now. Oh, perfect, she's gonna hold it for me. the exact same thing. Okay. All right, so anyways. Long story short, we booked this room. Meet you head! Anyways, so we booked the room, right? And we got here and they were like, oh my God, guess what guys? You guys are eligible for an upgrade. I'm like, oh my God, we're so, that's so cool. I definitely want an upgrade. I mean, who the hell doesn't want an, uh, an upgrade, right? So they take us to our room, right? Guys, I'm not even kidding you. Now you have to remember that Peter, okay? He's right there, so we won't say too much, but Peter is, 10 years old he's not 10 months okay and it's my birthday weekend okay you know so we should have two separate areas and a common area that's like how it should work with the child in the room so anyways we go to the room and we go in there the the view is absolutely gorgeous right but 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 <laughs> we walk in and this child has a cot next to my room and there is no separate room so literally there's a cot like where Peter would sleep and it's literally right outside of our bedroom door like this and I'm like I'm pretty sure that we like look into the very very details of when we book rooms specifically for with Peter to make sure that we do not book a room where we are sharing a room because that's weird especially when you're doing it for a couple days if it's one night okay whatever but I mean hello I mean who needs you guys need a healthy relationship. We all know what happens in a healthy relationship, right? Durr. So anyways, 
we actually got our room, but what's really messed up about the whole situation was that <laughs> they told us that they were upgrading us. Well, we get to the room and it's really two rooms. So what they did, this is what they did, is they tried to resell the two rooms and give us a room that was a lower version room. So I opened the fridge and in the refrigerator of the new room, there was this little cake and in the cake, it's like happy 25th anniversary. I'm like, well, oh, somebody's gonna be pissed off. So anyways, they're gonna have to deal with that later. Not my problem. Um, but yeah, other than that, we got our luggage this time. That's a positive. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm just excited to spend time with my family and, you know, just try to decompress a little bit and collect my brain cells, you know, since I'm so good at working. I'm a workaholic and my girls have done such a good job today. I'm not even going to lie. They did a really good job at making me not work. You know, even though I was on a plane with Wi-Fi and everything, they would not let me work. Assholes. So anyways, um, but yeah, you guys have to see this thing. Let me just stand up for a second. Oh, all right. So check this out, right? I mean, geez. So this is like the, it's like villas and stuff that we're staying at. What up, Eric? So, and then, I mean, look at this. This is the pool and then there's the ocean. And then tonight, right, they're doing this barbecue with like food. I mean, who doesn't want to eat a bunch of food on a trip? Good food. <laughs> but they're going to do like ribs and, you know, steak and mahi-mahi, which I don't eat. So it's irrelevant. Um, they do, they're going to do lobster and stuff like that. So this should be good. I'm like really excited. And you know, guys, listen, I normally don't share stuff like this. And I'm like, usually if I do go somewhere, I'll like, you know, not post anything, but you know what? I'm going to post this shit. You know why? Because I bust my ass and it's my birthday and I'm 33. Okay. Every year is a landmark for me, not 30 and then 40. No, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40, you best believe it's going to be off the chain. <laughs> you got something to say? This is beautiful. I want to zen out. So it's gorgeous. Glad to be back to St. Martin. Proposed here. Different position back then than I am in now. So he did propose to me on the beach. It just it brings out like a lot of memories. So like I'll just give you a, a really good example. So I was there and you know, I was making some good money, but still at that point, wanted to go get a rent a car and at the rent a car <gasps> place, right. you know, they charged me like this absurd amount of deposit and took it right out of my bank account. And I was like, oh my God, I just bought this ring and all this. I'm like, oh my God. We couldn't so, afford it. We could, it was, Barely. Just, it was just not, I, I like to just be conservative. So at that point it was just, uh, it was a blow uh, to a certain extent, but we met <laughs> work, it was awesome. And it, it was it was really really cool. So yeah, that's all. I, I'm I'm just happy to be with my family. And that's it. Thank you guys. Love you guys all. So, anyways, um, yeah, this is. Uh, I was. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I was actually pregnant with Peter. And this is where John proposed to me at, on a beach under the moonlight. So I want to take Peter back to the same location that he was at ten years ago. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's kind of cool, right, guys? I mean, seriously, super cool. So I, you know, <laughs> it's really cool that we can bring him back here and have a couple days to just decompress my brain a little bit, you know, and come back and just murder it, you know, because I'm good at that. We got a lot of big things in the works right now, so I can't wait to share those things with you. But anyways, I had to share this view because it's sick, um, and I'm really, really excited that my girls, I got a, I got a badass team of girls that can hold it down while I'm gone. Let me not talk too soon. They did good today. They got two more days. Okay. Two more. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. I'm going to go hang out with these two guys in the pool. And, um, thanks for tuning in. No other complaints at this time. I mean, I can't really complain. I have my luggage. And you know what? If I didn't get my luggage, yeah, best believe I do not make the same mistake twice. So I did indeed carry some underwear, a bra, and a bathing suit, and pajamas in my carry-on because I'm not stupid, okay? Anyways, guys, um, I hope everybody has a good night, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted with some cool pictures and stuff like that, and yeah, happy birthday to me. I'm going to soak it in every freaking second. 
because the next six months of my life is probably going to be super crazy. I can't wait to share the good news with you guys and um, got some big news coming for you guys. It's coming. So stay tuned. I can't wait to share it with you. All right, guys. See ya.